Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we're going to show you how to change out the LG microwave inner door frame assembly. It's going to be a very easy repair and should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new inner door frame assembly. The inner door frame assembly is what holds the door together. The main reason you'll be changing it out is if the screen is damaged or it's bent and the door won't open and close properly. In order to change the part, we have to open up the microwave door. Now that we have the door open, we have access to the choke cover. It's held in by locking tabs all around the outside. They can be a little tricky to get off, so you have to be careful. We're going to use a couple putty knives to get in here and release them. One to release them and then another one to go behind and hold in place so it doesn't snap back in. Once you get up to the end, there's also a little locking tab here in the center. I'm just going to release that real quick and then get the corners out. Once you have all the tabs released, you can pull it off the door and set it aside. Now we can take off the outer door. It's held in by screws around the frame. There's two big ones on this end and then five around the frame. We're going to use the Phillips screwdriver to take them out. Now that we have the screws out, we have to release these four locking tabs that go across the top hold the outer door frame on. We're just going to use a flathead screwdriver and reach in and lift up on it and hold it so it doesn't snap back in. Then you can do the rest. Once you have them all released, you can just carefully pull the outer door off. You're going to have to get it from around the frame and just carefully push it back. Once you have it free, you can pull it off and set it aside. Now we have to take the latch off. First, we're going to remove the spring. It's just held onto the latch right here. We're just going to take a small needle nose and stretch the spring up and pull it off. And then let it come off the bottom. Once you have it off, the latch is just held on by a couple pins. So you lift up and pull out, pull it off. When you look at the inner door frame, you can see that it has this plastic film across all the holes. You want to make sure that you buy one of these if you're replacing the inner door. This is really hard to take off and it's unlikely that you'd be able to reuse it on the new one. So once you're ready, you can lift the door off. There's a pin on each hinge. All you have to do is lift it up and pull it off. Here's the old inner door frame assembly next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get out of AppliancePartsPros.com. Before you put the door film on, you want to make sure there's no grease left over from manufacturing. So take some rubbing alcohol and make sure everything is clean. Once everything's clean and dry, we can put the film on. Before you put the new film on, you just want to line it up and make sure it's the right size. Make sure all the holes are covered when you put it on. And then we're going to peel the backing off and fold it underneath and then stick it on that way. As you pull the film off from behind, you can take like a towel, just press it down. Once you have the backing off, you can just go around and make sure it's pressed down. 
Once you have it on, we can put it back in the microwave. To put the new inner door frame assembly on, you just have to line up the upper and lower hinge pins, and set it into place. Once you have it in place, we can put the door back together. Before we put the door latch on, we're going to put a little bit of lithium grease in each of the receptacles so the latch moves up and down freely. Now we can put the door latch back on. You just want to make sure that the spring hook is on the top and that the latches go into the openings right here. All you have to do is rotate it over and put it on. Once you have it on, we can put the door latch spring on. To put the spring on, we're just going to hook the bottom in the metal frame right here on the liner. And you want to make sure that the top has the curved in so it can hook onto the plastic latch itself. Once you have it on, we can put the outer door on. To put it on, we're just going to lift it in place, and you want to make sure that it goes over the hinges, and then pull the bottom in, and then pull on the top to lock it in. Now that we have the outer door snapped on, we can put the screws in. Remember the two big ones went on the end, and then the five went around the door itself. We're going to use a Phillips screwdriver to put them back in. Now we can put the choke cover back on. All you have to do is lift up into place and make sure that the latches come through the openings. And just go around and carefully snap it on. Once you have the door put back together, you can close it, plug it back in, and take it for a spin. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.